Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today is going to be a flow class. So we're going to start the class in a lying down position. So make your way to lie down on your mat. Then both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back and down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Soften your face. Relax the jars. Scan the body and see if there's anywhere that is still holding on to tension. Letting go. Letting go of all your stress, worries, tension, and anxiety. Focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Couple more breath here. And we're gonna slowly wake up the body by wiggling your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrist. Gently turning your neck left and right. Inhale your arms up above the head, point your toes, full body stretch. Coming into a banana, walking the hands and feet over to the right side or as far as you can go. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist, inside foot on outside ankle. Feel the length in the left side of your body. We have to roll over, the entire body is still on the mat. Two more breath. One more, and we're gonna slowly walk the hands and feet over to the other side of the mat, as far as you can go, forming a banana shape. Outside hand, grab with the inside wrist. Inside foot on outside ankle. Feel the length in the right side of your body. Two more breath. One more. And we're gonna slowly walk the body, hands and feet back to the center of the mat. We're gonna lengthen, point your toes, reach and stretch. Rib cage rising. Elongate the body. Exhale and down by your side. Bend both knees. Wrap your arms around your knees. Rocking side to side. Massage your lower back and sacrum. Reverse the rotation. From here, we're gonna to come to a happy baby. Lift your feet up to the sky. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet, inner arch, outer arch. You can also hold on to the big toes or inner part of the legs. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine and entire back. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Extend your legs, flex your feet, hands behind your kneecap, stretching our hamstrings. Let the blood circulate back to your heart, helping you with circulation, immunity, digestion, sleep quality. And we're gonna stay here for a few more breath. Two more breath. 
And one more breath. Slide the hand further up the leg or grab a hold of the big toes. Lifting the hand chest up. Tailbones automatically come soft. Continue to stretch hamstring. Not carrying any tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. One more breath and we're going to slowly release the head down. And down by your side. We're going to do a double leg helicopter. Starting on a small circle. Gradually do a bigger and bigger circle. Wind your legs down towards the mat. Engaging your core abdominal muscles. Nice and slow. Worth control. Wind your way down towards the mat. And then we're going to change direction. Reverse. Go the other way. Big circle first, near the mat. And then we're going to slowly wind our way up to the sky. Smaller, smaller circles. Take your time. Strengthening the core abdominal muscles. Slowly, slowly come back to the top. Flex your feet, stretching our hamstring. Take a couple of common breaths here. And then we're gonna do three rounds of leg lift. First round, we're gonna lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, when you lace the one feet off the ground, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, don't drop it, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. Bounce it a few times. Wing releasing on the right side. Wrap your hands around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the right side, as well as ascending colon. Be gentle with your body. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint. Five times one way, five times reverse. Slowly come back to center, spinal twist, right foot on left thigh. Using the left hand, gently guide top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm, on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn a look at the right side, your neck is good. Hips automatically come soft. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Two more breath, and we're gonna slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bouncing a few times. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Repeat, wind releasing on the left leg. Wrap your hands around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax the grip. 
exhale, squeeze. Massage your organs on the left side as well as descending cone. Anytime you feel bloated or constipated, you can try this pose and see if it brings you any release. Farting is a good thing, helping you to detox. Left hand on left knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the left hip. Five times one way, five times reverse. Slowly come back to center, and we're going to go into a spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh. Using the right hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg if you have room. Opposite hand, opposite ankle. Left arm on shoulder height. Palm facing down. Turn a little bit left side if your neck is good. Stretching on lower back muscles. Creating spaces between L4 and L5. Staying here for a few more breaths. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the body back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Back it a few times. Bend both knees. We're going to go into the bridge pose. Knees are two fists apart. Don't open up too much. Walk the heel, close your fingertips. Those who have yoga block, feel free to place your yoga block between your thighs. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hips high, high up, forming a bridge. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Engage your core abdominal muscles, your quadricep and your glutes. In other words, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thigh and your butt are firm but not to the point of cramping. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. All the ways in the shoulder, regular weights in the head or neck, chin is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland. We're going to come up on our tippy toes, so lifting the hips even higher up. Release the hands from underneath your bridge. Inhale your arms up and over. Fingernails on the floor. Cactus arms are fine. Keeping your hips high, high up for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release. The arm back down by your side. Release the heel back down. One vertebrae at a time. Release the spine back down. Remove your block if you have a block. Windshield wiper. Dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Slowly curl back to center, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. We're going to come to the fish pose. Lift your hips up. Slide your hand underneath your butt, thumb to touch, point your toes, lifting your head and chest up, coming on your forearm, shine the chest up to the ceiling. You can stay here if you're comfortable to lower the crown of the head down, 
go ahead. Keeping your chest up and open. Helping people with breathing related issues like asthma, allergies. Taking a few breath here. One more breath. To come out of it, we're gonna lift the head and chest up, lower the upper body down, lifting the hip up one at a time and slide your hand back up from underneath your hips. Bring the sole of your feet together. Let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. Release the spine down, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. Hip opener, stretching out the inner thigh in this bound angle pose. Like gravity does the job to open up the hip joint. Two more breaths. One more, and we're going to draw the knees together. Drop them to the right side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Raise the right arm, making a pillow of the right tricep. Come lie down on your side. Take a couple of breaths here. And when you're ready, use your top hand to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. Take a couple of common breaths here. We're going to inhale the arms up above the head. Turn up, come out. Exhale there. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale down. One more. Inhale, arms up. Lengthening. Exhale down. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Next stretch. Year to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guides above the head. Lengthening, stretch, release the tension at the side of your neck. Slowly come back to center. Year to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guides above the head. Stretch. Slowly come back to center. Take an inhale to center, exhale, turn over the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Slowly come back to center. We're gonna inhale the arms open. Shine your chest up to the ceiling. Chin up, head back. Exhale to close. Chin to chest. Continue a few more times. If improving your posture, stimulating thyroid gland, both ways. Feel the pinch in your shoulder blade. One last one. Slowly come back to center. Come into a gentle side bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale and twist the right side. Bending the lower arm. Top arm is a crescent moon. Side bend. Inhale arms up to lengthen. Exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm. Top arm is a crescent moon. Make sure both of us are sitting down. We're not lifting one hip up. Inhale, arms up to lengthen. Exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Back hand behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Overlooking your shoulder. Look in the back. Turning the neck as well. Slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale, the other arm up. Forming a crescent. 
looking up. Slowly release the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs. And we're gonna slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. <coughs> and slowly release. Hands on the thighs. Coming into a torso turn. Starting out with a small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in a center position, go the other way. Reverse, touching all four corners of your space. Slowly, come back to center. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Wrist underneath the shoulder. Knee underneath the hip. Top of the feet on the mat. Neutral spine. Inhale, drop your belly. Chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, grind your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cat. So we're gonna do this a few times. At your own breath, and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Warming up the spine. Two more times. And one last one. Slowly, slowly, come back to neutral. Swing side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Come into a big figure eight. Sing the hip down onto the heel. Swing it out. Exaggerate the movement. When you're at the top of the mat, go to the opposite corner. Feel your spine moving as we are creating spaces between vertebrates. When you're in the center position, reverse your direction. Sway the hip out. Exaggerate your big, big figure eight. Slowly come back to neutral. Swaying side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Coming into arm balance. Right arm and left leg out. Right thumb to the sky. Back toes down. Core strong. Looking down. Staying here for three, two, one, slowly release the other side. Left arm and right leg out. Left thumb to the sky, back toes down. Neck is finding one straight line. Squeeze your stomach in tight for three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. From here, we're going to transition to lie down on our stomach for back extension. Take your time to set up. Legs are hip width apart. Top of the feet on the mat. Hands by your chest. Forehead down. When you press on the top of the feet, kneecaps automatically comes off. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, hands up, kneecaps up. Looking down to protect your neck. 
Now we're gonna go up and down five times. So inhale up, exhale there. Five times at your own pace. All the poses lying down in your stomach are to strengthen the lower back muscle, to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Once you've done five, slowly release everything there. Extend your arms forward, coming into a Superman. Forehead down, kneecaps up. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, arms off, leg and thigh off. Looking down to protect your neck. Staying here for five. Three, two, one, slowly release everything there. Coming into your locus, straighten your arm behind your back. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. If you're not able to do this, modification, arm down by your side, not touching your body. Lifting the head chest up, knuckles towards the heels, leg and thigh off. Looking down to protect your neck. Staying here for a few breaths. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly release everything there. And we're gonna go into proper dive. So arms down in T, palm facing down, shoulder height, legs apart, as wide as the mat, left cheek on the mat, bending the right knee, draw it close to the right elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch out the left side of the neck and opening up the right hip. One more breath, and we're going to transition to wing on the ground. So keep the left arm on the floor the way it is. Slowly roll over to the side of your body. I'm placing a block underneath my head, so neck and spine are in one straight line. Bottom leg straight, top leg bend. Top leg can be in front or behind the straight leg. Top arm can stay on the mat. Wrap around your waist or reach for the same ankle. So your choice. Whatever you do, make yourself comfortable. If this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort in the left shoulder, especially if you have injury, surgery, so on, you should slowly come out of this if this is causing you pain. If you feel tingling, that means you're on the nerve and you may wish to adjust your position. One more breath and slowly, slowly release, roll back to the center of the mat, retrieve the left arm, stack your hands on top of each other, bend your knees, windshield wiper, feel the slight movement in your lower back. You can either have chin down or forehead down. Loosen up the lower back muscles. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Coming into a bow, grab a hold one ankle or both ankle. Kick the feet into your hand, lifting the head chest up, thigh off if you can. Bottom of your feet towards the sky. Don't open up your thigh too much. It should be hip width. If you want to rock, go ahead. Forward, backwards, side to side. Massaging internal organs.
Slowly come back to center to release. We're going to come to a seal. Legs are apart. Come up on your forearm. Make sure that elbows are within shoulder range. We're not flaring the elbows out. Now you can stay here. If you like more intense stretch of the lower back, come up to the hand level. If this is too much for you, please lower down to the forearm. Your choice. Shoulders relax down from the knees. Chin is away from the body, looking forward or looking up. We're not arching the head back. Staying here for a few more breaths. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release everything down. From here, we're gonna go proper down the other side. So arms out in key, shoulder height, palm facing down. Right cheek on the mat. Bending the left knee, draw it close to the left elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch out the right side of the neck, and opening up the left hip. One more breath, and we're gonna transition to wing on the ground. Keep the right arm on the floor the way it is. I'm using my block as a pillow as I slowly roll on the side of my body. Bottom leg straight, top leg bent. Top leg can be in front or behind the straight leg. Top arm can stay on the mat, wrap around your waist, reach for the same foot or interlace the finger behind. Now we're putting more body weight on the right shoulder. So you listen to your body on this one. If this is too much for you, causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort, slowly come out of it. And if you feel tingling all the way down to your fingers, you are on the nerve and you will need to adjust the position. One more breath and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Roll back to the center off the mat. Now from here, we're gonna push ourselves up to the child pose. Child pose is the counter pose. If you wanna do a passive child pose, knee together, send the hip down onto the heels, forehead down, and down by your side, palm facing up. If you're not able to sit back, onto the heel, rest your forehead on stack hands, stack fist, or on your block. So try to sit back as much as you can. It's more important to sit back onto the heels. So we're stretching out the spine, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox, massaging the third eye, calming the mind for a moment. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. Now we're gonna sit on the heel for a moment. And once again, if you have very tight ankle and you're not able to sit, you can sit on your block, lifting the hip higher up, and that would release some of the pressure. So we're not gonna stay here for too long. We're just gonna take three breaths. So we're gonna go into an eagle arm. So inhale the arms up, right and the left. Big, big up. Love yourself. Now you can stay here. If you can lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb, coming into an eagle arm. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, forming an L shape. Slide back bend if you can. 
Couple more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Tapping out your feet side to side. Release any tension that you may have in your ankle joint. And now we're going to do toe stretch. All 10 toes on the mat. And sit back down on your heels. If you have very tight ankle or this is causing you pain, so once again, we have our block to help us sit on your block. So that will elevate your hips a little bit higher up, taking some of the pressure off your toes. Otherwise, you're just going to stay here and going on with eagle arm on the other side. Inhale your arms up. Left on the right, the other arm on top. Wrap around yourself. Now you can stay here. Those who can go into eagle arm, lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb. You end up with the thumb facing your nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the body. Form in L shape. Slide back bend if you can. One more breath. Slowly release. Coming back. Neutral tabletop. Tapping out your toes. Release tension, wiggle side to side. Now we're gonna get ready to come up. So meet you in down dog. Spread all your fingers, tuck the toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching out the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more time. Inhale up on toes. Exhale down. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. Coming into a forward bend. All ten toes facing the front, legs are hip width. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows. Dangle here for a moment. As we lengthen the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath. And we're going to get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to stand. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. After forward bend, we're going to go back bend to counter. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and high back. Not pushing the hips forward. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up lung heart chest. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and high back. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out, getting ready for our sun salutation. Top of your mat, big toes to touch. Align the edge of the feet to the edge of your mat. Listen to your body. Inhale your arms up, upper salute. Back bend, exhale. Forward bend. Inhale halfway up to a flat back, hands on chin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat. Stepping back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Lower down. Chaturanga is all one breath. Inhale, cobra's modification or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, tuck your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We stay here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Middle index finger facing forward. Separate your feet. Two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Release the head down. Locate your toes, knees, or belly button. We're going to go into a low lunge on the right side. Inhale. Right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. 
Those who need knee pack, go ahead, set yourself up. Square the hip to the front, arms up, holding onto your ball. Palms facing each other, pinky slightly curved in. Engage your arms, shoulders relaxed down from the ears, eyes looking up. Place the palm together. Release in back spinner. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend. Looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a twist. Left arm forward. Right arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Left hand down, right arm up. Open up the hand, look at the top thumb. Slowly release. Both hands on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of the foot. Coming into a lizard or dragon. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the right hip more. Listen to your body always. If you can, come on your forearm, go ahead. So on this side, I do modification. I'm on the hand level. Now we're gonna have right hand on right thigh, pushing the thigh out, looking up. Opening up the right hip joint. One more breath. Slowly release. Hands on mat for stabilizing yourself. Walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Front knee still 90 degree on top of the ankle, getting ready for the twist. Turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press your palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach now resting on the thigh. Feel free to come up on the back toes or open up the arms for more resistance. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. One more breath. Slowly release. Hands on the mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. You can sit on your heel or you can come sit down. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the left arm up, exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest, holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, not dropping the head or rounding the back. When you come down, stomach come down first, chest, that is the last thing. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. From here, we're gonna bring the band leg on the outside of the straight leg. Coming into a seated twist. Opposite hand, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, any variation you like. Allow you feel the resistance. Now we're twisting, stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath. And we're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. One more breath, slowly, slowly, coming back up. Straighten out 
the legs and we're in our stand pose. Get the fleshy part out from your butt. Hands on the side of your body. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Point and flex the feet a few times. Pumping blood back to your heart. Stretching our hamstrings. Increase flexibility and mobility in your ankle joint. Now point the toes up to the ceiling, sit up tall, getting ready for double leg forward bend. Inhale, your arms up, we lengthen. Exhale, we hinge forward, leaving up the chest. Place you in your hands beyond your feet, holding on to any part of the feet, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Once again, work with your breath. Inhale to prepare, to lengthen. Exhale is the fold. Stomach come down a little bit more than the chest. That is the last thing. Neck is long, spine is straight. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Now we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So make your way to the top. What you can do is you can set up on the other side. So we're going to lead with the left leg forward. 90 degree on top of the ankle. Right knee down. If you need knee pads, set yourself up. Square the hip to the front. Arms up. Holding on to your ball. No launch on the left side. Shoulders relax down from the knees. Palm facing each other. Slight pinky slightly curved in. Place your palm together. Release in that swing. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back, bend. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. One more breath, slowly release. Coming into a twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Turn and look at the back. Slowly, slowly release. Right hand down, left arm up. Reach for the sky. Open up the hand, look at the top thumb. Slowly, slowly release. Both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Coming on the baby toe side of your foot, if you like. Coming into a dragon or listen. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the left hip more. Those who wish to come down on the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. If this is too much for you, push yourself back up to the head level. We're not dropping the head down, so keeping your neck and your spine long. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release, pushing yourself back. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. Still 90 degree on top of the ankle. Turn your body to the left side. Right out on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. If you wish to come up on the back toes, lift the heel high, high up. Feel free to open up the arms for more resistance. One more breath. Slowly, slowly 
release. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. Come sit down, point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up, lengthening. Exhale, we hinge forward, leading with the chest, holding on to the head and the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Bend the chest. Neck is long, spine straight. One more breath. Slowly, slowly, come back up. Coming into seated twist. Bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine, around your waist. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Massage the internal organs, helping you to digest and detox, stretching our lower back muscles. One more breath, slowly coming back to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist, bending the arms, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of your body. One more breath. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs. Coming back to the start pose. Get the flesh part out from your butt. Arms by your side. Sitting up nice and tall. Lifting the left leg up a few inches. Lower down. Right leg up. A few inches, lower down. Continue a few more times. Working the entire leg, strengthening, toning, the quadricep, the calf, stretching our hamstring. One last one. Slowly, slowly release. Sitting up nice and tall. And we will come to the boat pose. Set yourself up, bend both knees, hands underneath the kneecap. When you're ready, lift your feet off the ground. Now you can hold on for support or you can let go. Any variation you like. Don't lean back too much. Staying here for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Bounce it out. Use the length of your mat. We're going to come to a wide leg. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Get the flesh apart out from your butt. When you're ready, we're going to come to a wide leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up, we lengthen. Exhale, we hinge forward, leading with the chest. Hands in front of you. We're not reaching forward. Shoulders relax down. With every inhale breath, we lengthen. Exhale, hinging forward from the hip joint. So we have to roll the hip forward. So there's gonna be a point that you can't go anymore and you have reached your boundary. So don't force your body to do anything that is not ready. Not dropping the head. Neck is long, spine is straight. We're stretching out the inner thigh, hamstring, opening up hip joints. Wherever you are today is good. Don't worry about how far down you need to go. One more breath. Slowly, slowly, coming back up. Coming into side bend. Right finger hooking on the right toes, bending the elbow. The other arm up. We lengthen first. 
and we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. If you like, you release the bottom arm. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Feel the length in the side of your body. Stretching out the organs, stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. And slowly, slowly come back up the other side. Bending the elbows, the other arm up. Reach and stretch, lengthen. We're gonna slowly bring the top arm over. Release the bottom arm if you like. More room to bend. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Over time, your body will open. Feel the length in the side of your body. As we stretch the organs, stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. One more breath, slowly, slowly, kind of back up. Coming back in our VC seated position. Bring the sole of your feet together. Wrap your hands around the ankle, rocking side to side. Finding the sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly. Flap about 10 times. Opening up hip joint. Draw the heel close to you. Grab hold of the big toes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the other side. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Once again, neck is long, spine is straight. Not dropping the head or rounding the back and not forcing yourself to come down. Opening up hip joint. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs. One more breath, slowly, slowly come back up. And we'll come back to our comfortable, easy, seated position. So taking our three final closing breath here, inhale your arms up above the head. Turn the palm out, exhale down. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold. One last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. To end the practice, we bring the hands to heart center. Thank you very much for watching, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.